time in the series opener at Daytona in Rhodes and David Gilliland. Nice push by Crafton. I like the way Crafton just maybe had just a yeah, bit of spacing. Yeah, a little more gentle when he hit. Sheldon hit, hit uh, David so hard that he pushed him out, but he's locked onto him right now. And Rhodes has got out in front. He's probably going to try to block both lanes if he needs to. This is not great for Ben Rhodes, other than in fact he's got Matt Kraft and his teammate behind him. Creed jumps to the outside, Gilliland getting hung out in the middle. Corey Roper getting Big a shot from that 404 truck. Here comes Chris Wright in the 0-2. Look at the big push he gets to Sheldon Creed. Rhodes jumps up front to block Creed and now back to the bottom. Yeah, great move there by Ben Rhodes to move up and, and kind of stall out the two, but I'm telling you, the 04 truck is pushing Sheldon Creed. Look at that. White flag. Huge push. Go. Creed up top, and there was some contact in the wall by Roper, and now Roper goes to the bottom. Good move. Corey Take Roper to the front. Crafton giving his teammate Ben Rhodes a little shove. Can they get past the 04 of Corey Roper? trying to hold on, 43 years old. Oh, big crash and big roads going around the outside and across the line. did a heck of a job though Michael you look at the push he gave Sheldon Creed and then to, to get to the to the lead on the last lap Ben Rhodes just had a huge run off turn four Richard Lucius the crew chief of Ben Rhodes with his first win as a crew chief in his first race he has been the truck chief for Johnny Sauter and takes over the crew chief role and gets the win <laughs> you just you just can't describe what it's like to win at Daytona. And I think his emotion gives you an idea of what it feels like. Yeah, and I, I love getting to see the the, the, the team and, and how excited they are. And when you're the driver and you're out there, you know, you know this, Michael, you can't wait to get in so you can celebrate with all of them because that's your team and, and they're kind of having this moment. You want to get do your burnout, get the flag, and then you want to get over there and you want to high five everybody and, and talk about it. Good to see. You. Drivers moving around and climbing from their trucks. We've seen all of the drivers either get out of their truck or put the window net down and move around. Then Rhodes starting off the season with a win at Daytona. How about it for the 23-year-old from Louisville, Kentucky? tracks and then getting it done tonight at Daytona. In dramatic fashion, Jamie, we've talked at the opening of the show, we don't know who's going to win this race until they come off turn four, and that certainly was the case. Bombardier coming on board as a sponsor that was announced just earlier today. I'd say that was pretty good timing. Smart move there. There's a bunch of trucks, Jamie, that are sitting in smoking heaps. The winner being one of them, but his was on purpose, doing those burnouts. There's the other end of the carnage of the last lap, loading into the ambulance to go to the hospital. Look like everybody's okay, though. Everybody's out of their trucks and under their own power. here from the winner. Ben Rhodes. One of the most exciting last laps we have seen in a long time. Talk me through the final lap of that race and how you ended up here with the checker flag. I don't even know, man. I, uh, I gotta give such a big thank you to my team. This is, 
This is so special. Biggest win of my career. I can't even believe this. You know, as a driver, you're always asked about what your biggest accomplishment is. This is it. This is hands down it. This is the place to be. Uh, I can't even believe it. We got Bombardier on the truck. We came back to Toyota and we won and our first race was in the Thor Sport. I can't thank Duke and Rhonda Thorson enough for this opportunity. This is, um, this is special. This is Daytona. You do realize it is Daytona. <laughs> yeah, I do. And uh, I'm going to soak it up for as long as I can. That last Arlington win went by too fast and you just don't know when you're going to get it again. But I'm going to enjoy this night. Best night of my life right here. The, the last lap coming down to get to the start finish line here. Talk me through the move that you were making and what happened and what you were thinking. Oh, uh, that actually started out the end of the second stage. I got set up for the same move, and I said I'm going to log that in my memory bank. <laughs> I came up short on that checker flag, but I was going to make sure that I didn't come up short on this one. So we just tried to time it right. Thank goodness I had my, my Menards teammate, Matt Crafton, behind me because he's a... Uh, He's a stud. He's a stud. He's been around for a long time. He knows what he's doing, and you see the help he gave me there. He blocks it. This wouldn't have been possible without Matt Crafton, and I owe him a huge thank you. We saw you back up to get to Crafton just a little bit there. Was that calculated on your part? That was that was one of the race-winning move, I think. Jordan Anderson, too. Hats off to him. He had two races in a row at this place. He's been in contention to win, so uh, congrats to him on a second place. All right. Congratulations, Ben Rhodes. Winner at Daytona. And this thing's really fast. I can't